Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are gonna understand about the design and simulation of Zeta converter in Altus Spice. So in the past two videos, we have understood about the design and simulation of Sepik converter and design and simulation of Chuk converter. So in this video, we, we are gonna understand about the design and simulation of Zeta converter using LT Spice. So basically, Zeta converter is a type of similar type of bug boost converter. That means it can step up your input voltage and it can step down your input voltage as well. And it is also a similar of your SEPI converter. Okay. So let us understand first how you can design this circuit in LT Spice and later I'll run the simulation and I'll show you the waveforms, right? So the DC transfer function of Zeta converter is V out equals to V in multiply by duty, duty cycle divided by one minus D. So this is basically the DC transfer function of Zeta converter and you, if your duty cycle is less than 0.5, your output voltage is gonna to be gonna less than your input voltage. And if your duty cycle is higher than 0.5, your output voltage is gonna be higher than the input voltage. So, so if you look at this point, this is input voltage wherein I am giving 12 volt, right? And this is the capacitor. Then this is the high side MOSFET. So in the Zeta converter, we have the high side MOSFET. And if you have the high side MOSFET, in order to drive the high side MOSFET, you need to have the high side gate driving. Okay. So this is basically a high side gate driving wherein you can see the negative point of your driver is connected to this point. Okay. And then we have the the inductor L2 and this is capacitor C3 which is connected in series. This is also sometimes called flying capacitor. Okay, this is sometimes called the fl flying capacitor. And if you look at this, this is diode for freewheeling purpose and this inductor and then output capacitor and the, and the load. Right. So the operation of Zeta converter is that when switch is on, so it charges this this inductor L2. At the same time, it also provides paths to charge this inductor and provides the output voltage. And when your switch is off, at this and during the on time, your diode D1 is off. And when your switch is off, your M2 is off, at that point, you have the discharge path for this inductor. And also, you since this diode is connecting, using this inductor, you are delivering the output voltage to the load. That is how you can see the basic operation of Zeta converter. And now, uh, let me run the simulation and let me show you the different waveforms for this Zeta converter. Okay. Before I run the simulation, I want to show you the gate driving signal. So this is again the V on is 10 volt and rise time is 1 nanosecond, fall time is 1 nanosecond, and the T on is duty divided by FSW and T period is 1 divided by FSW. Right. So that is how that is how uh, I have defined the gate driver for the this MOSFET M2 and if you look at this the duty cycle is 0.7 the frequencies I've defined is 500 kilohertz and the transient time is 10 millisecond now you you can go at this simulate button edit simulation command and run the transient analysis and the stop time is 10 millisecond so I'm gonna click OK and I'll run the simulation okay so now you can go at this tile window vertically. So I tiled window vertically and you can do for zoom fit the input voltage. So this is your input voltage and let me show you the gate signal gate to source pulse. So I'll click there and drag and drag and drop the mouse. 
so I'll see the gate signal if you look at this point let me show you the gate signal okay so how it looks like if you see here you have the 70% duty cycle and you have the sharp rise and fall time okay so this is about the your gate signal and now let me show you the gate to source voltage it should be the your DC voltage okay now let me show you the voltage across here how it looks like so if you look at this point your voltage is uh, if you look at here it's a 12 volt positive and if you go down it's a minus 32 volt negative so this is voltage at this node at this node and let me show you the voltage current across this this uh, this is basically also you can say the voltage across this L2 and let me show you the current across this L2 so if I change the color for L2 in red you can look so that is how this is current across here L2 and I see the maximum peak current is around 8.7 amps okay this is current across L2 now let me show you the current across C3 so this is your current across this capacitor C3 and let me show you the current flowing through diode D1 that is how you can see current flows through diode D1 that is called ID1 and let me show you finally the current across this L1 inductor so this is basically a current across your inductor and finally I'm gonna show you the output voltage okay so this is out output voltage maybe you can see here it has some ripple but you can see your 31.7 and let me show you the output current real quick so the output current is around 2.65 and let me show you the output power so you this is gonna be your output power and I see your output power is 84.22 watt okay so this is this is your output current this is your output voltage and red is your output power now what I'm gonna do is I'll change the duty in spite of having 0.7 I'll keep for this simulation let's say I keep 0.3 let us see what happens so let me run the simulation after changing the duty of 0.3 so if you look at all the three points now at this point your V out in green is 4.7 this I out is I out is 474 milliampere and this is gonna be 2. Point, that's very less 2.73 watt okay so hope guys you have now understood about the design and simulation of Zeta converter it's a kind of bug boost converter and it is very similar to the SAPIC converter and it has two inductor uh, I would say it has additional inductor and additional capacitor so in nutshell it has two inductors and one additional capacitor right so hope you understood how will you create the circuit in LT spice how you can simulate the Zeta converter if you have any question feel free to ask him in comment section thanks for watching this video